best SUV. Did I just say the best SUV or the best electric SUV? Yup, that's on you. You know that I'm ranting about the new Tesla Model X. You see, there's a lot to talk about the new car, and if we start discussing about it now, there won't be an end to it. Wait, isn't that why we're here? So why wait? Let's go. Let's take a look at the 2021 Tesla Model X Long Range, which comes in six-seat configuration. There's plenty to love about its mega range, wild available performance, and still good looks. Hey techies and welcome to Tesla Vibes, where we bring you the fresh and the best updates on Tesla and Elon Musk. So let's hop on. It's been almost a time since Tesla delivered the first few refreshed Tesla Model X cars. Tesla has surprisingly commenced the 2021 Design Refresh Model X releases from its Fremont factory in California. Initially calculated to be delivered back in February this year when the Model S Plaid was introduced, but the deliveries kept on lagging behind. Reportedly, thousands of Model X Refreshed Edition customers have been waiting a long time for their luxury electric SUVs to hit their hands, but Tesla began expressing an approximate delivery timeline of April 2022 in their online car configurator. Currently, Tesla has distributed a total of five Model X vehicles and is scheduled for much more deliveries in the coming days. It's been a tradition of Tesla to start from their most expensive models, and this time too, they've kept it intact. All of the 2021 Model X cars delivered at the Fremont Delivery Center had the six-seat interior arrangement. The six-seater Model X's interior is the most luxurious configuration with a price tag of $6,500. Other options are a five-seat configuration, which is included in the vehicle's price, and also a seven-seat option charged at $3,500. There haven't been many customer reports on it. As one can notice, on the exterior, only some minor details and the black trim is different from the previous generation. The Chrome Delete works across the car's exterior, with new rims and scantily redesigned front and rear fascia have strengthened a great touch to the attitude of the new Model X, just like it has with the design of the refreshed Model S. Most of the differences are in the car's interior, including the yoke steering, a fresh instrument cluster display, unique infotainment display, new center console, rear display, new and overall more premium materials, all of which will be discussed in today's video. Although it's a step in the right direction because previously the quality of the materials used were lagging behind the technology. Meanwhile, Tesla has placed a new tutorial video on the Model X, Meet Your Model X. Watch to prepare for your first drive in your Model X. It basically covers all the fundamental stuff most familiar with the refreshed Model S and already covered in many reviews, but potentially useful for new Tesla users. The new Tesla Model X, just like the recent Tesla Model S, is furnished with a fully redesigned battery module and packs. They further upgraded the drivetrain. The planned version comes with three electric motors, faster charging capability, which attains and keeps up longer at 250 kilowatt at superchargers, and other components like a lithium ion 12 volt auxiliary battery and heat pump. Looking at the interior, the whole space is class leading, and the seats are very comfortable in all the rows. The Model X also offers enough legroom and headroom for passengers at the rear to travel comfortably. The cargo space is also impressive with the Model X. It comes with a class-leading 81.2 cubic feet of cargo space, which also includes the front trunk, offering about 6.6 .6 cubic feet of space. This happens to be the highest cargo space when you compare it to other rivals, and all of this contributes to the overall practicality of the car. The dashboard is very much identical to that of the refreshed Model S, with noticeable Model X differences consisting of a huge glass windshield, taller space, Falcon wing doors, etc. What we see now is that of a six-seater version, and we're yet to witness five or seven-seat Model X refreshes. The $100,000 Model X now has a landscape-oriented display, rather than a vertical one, and the second screen in the back for rear passengers, which is being brought into all of Tesla's upcoming models. It's like a gaming PC on board with the new steering yoke on the new Model X. This specific steering wheel has got the attention of several enthusiasts and viewers. They all want to know what's going to be different. How is it going to be like and all? Tesla CEO Elon Musk indicated that the company made all these changes because making another round wheel would be boring. It also blocks the screen. Adding the Tesla's full self-driving function, which is currently controversial due to its safety concerns, when in panoramic mode, looks way better with the yoke steering wheel. 
This wheel might require some time for you to get used to because every other steering wheel out there is an actual wheel. Unlike the yoke steering wheel that is provided with the Model X Plaid, it does look cool, but the practicality is where this steering wheel really falls short. The horizontal screen that's 17 inches is the same screen that's used to control every function of the car. It's the same as before, but you get a bigger rear screen, as we mentioned above, in which you can run video games. This interface is moderately easy to use and is very responsive, but this infotainment system does not help with Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. You get a 17-speaker audio system, which means you'll have a great music eavesdropping experience inside the car, and you expect that at this price point anyways. And not just that, every passenger on the car gets a wireless phone charger and a lot of other changes on board. On Tesla's first quarter earnings call in April, Musk told that Tesla had experienced more challenges than expected when formulating the new Model S and Model X. That comprised navigating the supply chain issues and figuring out new internal production processes for the newly updated vehicles. Anyways, the deliveries are promising news for consumers who've always wanted the space and luxury of an SUV over the frugal crossover Model Y. Nonetheless, they also underline the impact of chip shortages on Tesla's production, even though Tesla tried their best to tackle it. It could be long, long before you can just buy the current Model X design and expect to obtain it in a timely manner. 1,000 horsepower and a 0 to 60 miles per hour time of 2.5 seconds. That's something mind-blowing, right? The 2022 Model X Plaid will be a trendsetter just like every other Model X out there because you'll be getting the top-of-the-line technology and unmatched performance with this super-fast SUV. Updating the Model X with the Plaid powertrain is really important because the competition is heating up. The Model X competes with the likes of the Audi e-tron, the Ford Mustang Mach-E GT, the Jaguar I-Pace, the Rivian R1S, and the Mercedes-Benz EQC. The 2022 Model X Plaid might feature a few minor exteriors and interior design updates, and the Plaid variant is a lot more exciting to drive because of its 1020 horsepower produced by the three-motor setup. When it comes to range, you get about 313 miles of range on a single charge with the Model X Plaid. That's all we can assume about the upcoming Model X Plaid version. Tesla is being better and more efficient with production and deliveries each year. In the past few years, Tesla also used to be a usual target of grievances and objections about uncertainties and quality issues. But this year has been a total accomplishment for Tesla Motors in this department. We had just recently seen that Tesla started early and massive deliveries of the Model Y in Europe. With their latest Giga Berlin and Giga Texas plants in development, Tesla also demonstrated its efficiency in manufacturing not just one of the world's biggest, but also the most progressive car factories in record time. Anyway, that's about it for today, guys. Drop a like for the video if you're a huge fan of what Tesla's doing in the automotive industry. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll meet again in the next one.